for generations. The tale of Atlantis has sparked the curiosity of explorers, historians, and dreamers. Ancient philosopher Plato described it as a powerful, technologically advanced civilization that vanished into the ocean in a single day and night of misfortune. Intriguing legend continues to fascinate. But is there any truth to it? This video explores the mysterious story of Atlantis, weighing the evidence, theories, and the lasting attraction of one of history's most captivating enigmas. The Origins of Atlantis, Plato's provocative tale, Plato's dialogues, Timaeus and Critias are the chief sources of the Atlantis story. Written around 360 BCE, these texts give a detailed account of a sophisticated civilization that supposedly existed 9,000 years before Plato's time. According to Plato, Atlantis was a vast island beyond the Pillars of Hercules, now the Strait of Gibraltar, boasting complex social systems, remarkable architecture, and advanced technology. We all know the famous story of Atlantis, but it goes all the way back to Plato, who tells us about Atlantis as a great city with an advanced civilization, which ruled over an empire that spanned continents. Plato's account prompts intriguing discussions, was he narrating a historical event, or was Atlantis merely an allegory to express philosophical ideas? The Atlanteans grew cruel, they grew harsh, they grew hubristic, and for this they were punished by the gods. The city was destroyed and submerged and lost beneath the waves. Some scholars propose that Plato invented Atlantis to deliver moral and political lessons. Meanwhile, others argue that his precise descriptions hint at a real, albeit ancient, source now lost. Geological evidence. Could Atlantis be real? The hunt for Atlantis has driven researchers to examine geological evidence worldwide. One compelling theory connects the Atlantis legend to the Minoan civilization on the island of Crete. The Minoans were highly advanced, with notable architectural and technological achievements. Their abrupt decline around 1450 BCE aligns with a massive volcanic eruption on the nearby island of Thera, modern-day Santorini, which might have triggered a catastrophic tsunami mirroring the sudden destruction described by Plato. Some scholars point to the submerged city of Dwarka off India's coast, dating back roughly 9,000 years, close to Plato's timeline. The discovery of vast underwater ruins suggests that significant advanced civilizations could indeed have perished in cataclysmic events. Others point out to another lost city, mentioned by classical Greek historians, Helike. In the winter of 373-372 BC, a violent earthquake struck the southwest shore of the Gulf of Corinth and destroyed and submerged the classical city of Helike. Helike was founded in the Mycenaean period by Ion, the leader of the Ionian race and became the capital of the 12 cities of ancient Achaea. Theories and speculations. Where could Atlantis be? Numerous theories have emerged about Atlantis's possible location. Some believe it lies within the Mediterranean, while others speculate it could be in the Caribbean or even Antarctica. These theories often arise from intriguing coincidences and interpretations of ancient texts. One popular theory places Atlantis in the Azores, a group of islands in the Atlantic Ocean. Supporters claim the islands are remnants of a larger landmass submerged by seismic activity. Similarly, some suggest the Caribbean island of Bimini is a potential site with underwater rock formations known as the Bimini Road seen as evidence of ancient human construction. Despite the variety of theories, no conclusive proof has been discovered. The enigma of Atlantis continues to inspire both scientific research and imaginative speculations. The cultural impact, Atlantis in literature and media. The legend of Atlantis has deeply influenced culture, inspiring numerous books, movies, and TV shows. From Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea to Disney's animated film, Atlantis, The Lost Empire, the notion of a lost civilization brimming with advanced technology and hidden secrets, garners widespread fascination. Beyond entertainment, Atlantis has also impacted modern spiritual and New Age movements. 
Some believe Atlanteans had mystical knowledge and psychic abilities that can be rediscovered and used today. This ongoing interest in Atlantis reflects a broader human desire to connect with ancient wisdom and uncover hidden truths. Scientific Skepticism – The Case Against Atlantis While the Atlantis legend is enticing, many scientists and historians remain doubtful. They argue that Plato's story lacks solid evidence and that Atlantis's descriptions might be more mythological than factual. Critics emphasize that no archaeological site has been definitively identified as Atlantis, with many supposed discoveries based on questionable interpretations or pseudoscience. Moreover, some scholars contend that the focus on Atlantis often overshadows the accomplishments of genuine ancient civilizations like the Sumerians, Egyptians, Mesopotamians, and Minoans. These cultures left extensive evidence of their existence and contributions to human history, unlike the elusive Atlantis. The Enduring Allure of Atlantis The mystery of Atlantis continues to intrigue, blending history, myth, and imagination. Whether Atlantis was real, allegorical, or a mix of both, its legend endures as a symbol of humanity's quest for knowledge and our obsession with lost civilizations. The search for Atlantis isn't just about finding a sunken city. It's about the human spirit's relentless drive to understand our past and the mysteries it contains. As we keep exploring our world and its history, the story of Atlantis reminds us of myths enduring power and the endless possibilities within the realm of discovery.